is Alexandra and welcome to my studio. I'm excited to show you my new design, which I call Roswell hat, and it's as Roswell, New Mexico. And the reason I call it Roswell is, you'll see in a second, it's a hat with a big oversized pom-pom, but it's got an alien in it. And actually it's got more than one alien, it's got a total of 12. And um, you can see close up here. And they created by Pearl and Need Stitch. So they create like this subtle pattern of alien faces all around. And what you do when you're done with your hat, you just highlighted one of them and go over one of the designs, one of the hats uh, with a duplicate stitch and a contrast yarn and go over and embroider alien head, head on it. And I have uh, on my YouTube channel, I have a tutorial for duplicate stitch and I have a new tutorial on a pom pom. So maybe I do make pom pom different way than you do. And well, at least you just, maybe you never done pom poms before. So now you will see how it's done. It's very easy and fun. So um, this hat would fit any standard size adult and I'll show you on the form how it looks like. It's a slouchy hat and it's about 10 inches long and about like 19, 20 inches in the round. Um, so if you make it for a kid, you may want to switch to smaller needles, but that's how it looks like on the form. So it's a slouchy, it's a good size slouchy with oversized pom-pom and alien head on the side or you can put it on the front and plain side look like that. So I think it makes a wonderful gift. Um, you know, Christmas is not far away, so start making it. And it's a uh, pretty easy project and it will take you probably maybe one or two evenings. So here it is, Roswell hat. Um, my pattern contains three pages, so it's got written instructions and a chart, an embroidery chart as well. So it's pretty descriptive and again you can see uh, in my tutorials on my YouTube channel how to make a pom-pom and duplicate stitch. So everything is there for you, you know, if you've never done it before, just, you know, all sources are there. I used uh, worsted yarn and one of my favorites is Fisherman Wool. I use it a lot. I love this the feel of this yarn, and it's very it's available in any craft stores, uh, which is you know wonderful. And it's pretty neutral. So when you use a contrast yarn, I used Manas Maxima just because it's one of my favorite colors. I love this chartreuse. Ugh, just beautiful. But um, you can use any other color. You can use black, red. I don't know, green, whatever, you know, whatever you want. And if you're using this yarn as a main, uh, any color would complement it. Any color would look good because it's very neutral and it's a good quality. So uh, worsted yarn and uh, circular needles in a size six and seven. So what you do, you start with a smaller circular needles and work on the ribbon and then switch to size seven and come up until you're ready to um, crown shape, to do crown shaping and switch to double pointed needles and uh, work with double pointed needles in size seven on that and then just make pom pom and embroidery and you're done. So I hope you like this pattern. It's available in all my stores, uh, pattern stores. And again, check my tutorials, new tutorials, subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you soon. Bye.